cook like this one's deep. Let me see. No, oh, shoot, Dad. Wish I could do the same. It has been a long one. I know, I know. Me too. But it just felt so good to hear those people say that Savas was going to be okay at the hospital before we left, huh? Yeah. yeah. Frank? Oh, what? Are we going in? I don't know, Lanny. I don't think I could stomach it. I mean, I can't believe that we left the diner to Buzz and Nadine the whole day. I mean, it would be a miracle if it's still standing. Frankie, open the door. Come on. All right. Hey, who's the vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> the vegetarian? Here. And only eight vegetables. What do you need? All right. Uh, Here you go. Hey, Adam and Eve on a wrap. Whiskey down. Uh, <laughs> I just love all you night shift guys. Everybody else wants dinner. You always order bacon and eggs. Coming right up. Why don't you dig up her old uniform? Sloppy Joe tastes like the old days, buddy. <laughs> That's a shake. This is the old days, Charlie. <laughs> checking on the apartment. What can I do for you? Come away with me. I have a plan. Dressed up just for me? I dressed up like this for Ed. It's his party. Don't try to horn in. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, now you tell me that you got to dress up for Ed. I thought maybe you were trying to make up for the other day. Me? Make up with you? All right, all right. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know I'm the one that had my foot hanging out of my mouth. Well, at least you're man enough to admit it. All right, come on, let's uh, show you off to everybody else since you didn't get dressed up for me. <laughs> Like Nick didn't get very warm welcome. A shamefully bogus excuse at a lover's spat. Yeah. A transparent, shameful Awful. reason just to kiss and make up. You remember those things, don't you? Very vaguely, much. Very vaguely. Well, hey, well, just, you know, perk up, will you? Because who knows? There could be some fine, hot, young, nubile thing unattached for you at the party tonight. Just pay the bill. Pay up the bill so we can go into this party. Uh, all right. Well, then, first, before we do that, will you just clear up a couple of things for me here, please? Uh, Ed saved Holly. Roger saved Ed? Yeah. And why am I paying for these drinks? Well, first of all, I'm not a cheap date. Second of all, who would go to a party for Roger Thorpe? Come on. And no more of this for you. I'll, I'll catch you later on this one. Hey, William. Hi. Hi. Am I the first one here? Oh, no, of course not. Everybody else is in the other room. Well, everybody except Ed. I'm not sure when he's coming, but let's hope he comes. <laughs> is Mindy in there? Uh, yeah, she is. Why don't you come say hello? I will. I... Uh... What? Well, I, I don't know that I need to mention this, but I sort of want to tell you that I got a call today from Eve. And she's been released. Today, the role of Ross Marler will be played by Louis Arnold. What do I 
do with these? Well, just hold on for dear life. <laughs> this is great. This is really beginning to look festive. I didn't realize you were such an expert party planner. Well, I'm inspired. Huh. I figured Ed engineered the first five years of all my par parties in my childhood, and I'm well overdue paying him back. What kinds of parties did he and Holly throw for you? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember all of them, but you know, we went to the zoo, and oh, for my fifth birthday, my mother hired a magician that didn't show up, so Ed had to provide all the entertainment. <laughs> what did he do? He mixed all this plaster up, and he let us put a cast on his arm. I know it sounds crazy, but it was so much fun. <laughs> That's an ingenious save. <laughs> yeah, I'm a messy. Five-year-olds in plaster? I don't think so. <laughs> my mother had to run all the party guests through a sprinkler before she returned to <laughs> I do remember her laughing. It was nice. It's nice to see you with a happy memory of your mother. We had a really good time today. It's really nice. Well, I said Peter just before we left, so he shouldn't wake up. But if he does and you have to go into him, make sure that Bill gets out of the pool, all right? Yeah. And uh, Michelle Bauer is going to be dropped off, so it's very important. I don't want either of those children in the pool without grown up supervision. Well, I know, but I think it's very important. Okay. Thanks. Bye. No quite on the whole front? So far, so good. Okay. You know, I think this is going to be a very nice party, but I wish we thought to have it at our house. Hell, yeah. all the stuff we got is in boxes. <laughs> I know, but, well, I've just been thinking ever since the 4th of July came and went, I'd really like to do something very special for Ed. Honey, I think Ed realizes that we had a lot on our plate this summer. I guess. Gotta hand it to Holly. She really put this together fast, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, maybe she was, uh, motivated. What do you mean? Well, she and Ed have stayed close all these years. Now that he's alone, I don't mean there's anything going on now, but it wouldn't be unreasonable for something to happen in the near future, would it? Huh. Maybe the distant, distant future, but I certainly hope that Holly isn't counting on a relationship with Ed, because I'm sure that Ed's not going to be ready for a relationship with anybody for a very long time. Hmm. I didn't hear you knocking. I didn't realize Eve was out of the hospital. Yeah, she just got out this afternoon. She came over to check to see if her apartment was still available. Oh, well, while she's settling in, why don't you and Michelle come out to dinner with me? Oh, Michelle's got to go over to the Lewis's. Uh, she and Bill have a, a, a cannonball competition scheduled in the new pool. Okay, okay. We'll make it a grown-ups night out. Grab your tux and we're set. Tux, uh... Yeah. Uh, I, I can't. What do you mean you can't? Of course you can. Why not? Do you know where Uncle is? Yeah, Holly Lindsay came by and he's downstairs talking to her. Oh, 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 okay. Then, you know, I can tell you the real reason that I'm up here. I'm sprucing up the place to, um, surprise my uncle. Why? Is today his birthday? No, but it's... It's... I, I, well, we're making it into a kind of a special Uncle Ed day. Oh, well, well, I should do something for him then. Maybe, um... I'll make him dinner. Let me see what I've got. Oh, I'm gonna have to go to the store. I don't have much. Mm. Tell Stavros this is from my Aunt Denise and everybody on Caruso Street. Very good, Charlie. When's he coming back? We miss him. Well, we're not sure. The doctors say that he needs a lot of R&R. &R. <laughs> plenty of insurance, right? Three boxes of cookies, a carrot cake, and a box of candy. All the way back there. I mean, guys can have a woodwork. Yeah, well, everybody loves Star Wars. Oh, by the way, uh, that piece of pie that's wrapped up for Charlie, that was for Aunt Denise. I hope you weren't going to charge him for that. It was on the house. No, ma'am. Hold on here. I mean, that's really nice of you guys, but I uh, hope you're not giving away free food all afternoon long here. Oh, heck no. We have been making money hand over fist, haven't we, bud? Take a look at that. Think it's a uniform? Hmm? I don't know. Where did you dig that up from? Well, I was in the back locker looking for aprons, and I just happened to find it. I couldn't believe it's still there. Um, I think you look wonderful, Annette. <laughs> really think so? Yeah. I mean, don't
Don't you think she looks great, Frankie? Fine. Yes, she, she looks cute, but she's going to be pretty weird now if she's the only one wearing a uniform around here. Oh, come on. Lighten up, Frank. Nostalgia's very big now. We did decent business, anyway. Check it out. Oh, it's amazing, Frank. I talked to, uh, talked to a little league baseball team over there. got the coach to buy their kids dinner here instead of Wally's pizza. Wally's dead. <laughs> Buddy, no, no, no. Hey, take your hands off the merchandise. Hey, you're a little confused there, aren't you? I mean, this isn't a club where the girls wear bunny ears and cottontails, hmm? Buy out. I wasn't hurting the lady. You know, must have slept through the last few decades and a few Senate confirmation here. Now, if girls want to get grabbed, they ask to be grabbed. Who's this, your father? No, no, he's my father. And the lady's my mother, and I think you owe her an apology. Didn't mean anything. Sorry. Oh. Hey, hey, you call that a tip? That was, that was, thank you, thank you. Oh, the guy's a Nimrod. You need some tomato sauce. And that's all I got to say. I don't think I have ever seen Nadine without something to say. Yeah, well, I uh, guess there's a first time for everything, huh? Can't you just admit that your father has done something wonderful today? Look, it's not that lady, all right? Like, I wanted to show you this article in the paper here. It's about a gang incident that occurred not three blocks from here. And it's my guess that it started because of what was happening between David and this Vinnie Morrison guy. It's bad news, Elaine. I mean, they're picking sides now, and it's not good for us, and it's not good for David. David, uh, um... I wonder what's going to happen to him. How could I call David if I don't even know where he is? You try and act like you believe me and that you trust me, but I don't really think that you do. No. No, you're wrong. Then I do believe you. Then why do you have me locked up in the apartment like this? Kat, look, you may not remember this, but um, back when you were in kindergarten, that was a case of meningitis at your school. And, oh, yeah. Okay, it's not the best example, but, you know, just bear with me, okay? All the parents had, had to keep the kids home. And you hated it, just like you hate this. You know, you had stuff you wanted to do. You wanted to go and be with your friends and stuff. But well, you couldn't understand why your mom and I were, were being so mean. And I didn't seem to be able to explain any better then than I can now. That we really were just trying to keep you safe, sugar. That's all. I'm not in kindergarten, Daddy. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Like I said, it wasn't the best example. And you're right. You're not in kindergarten. You're a woman now, but... You're in just as much danger. Probably worse. I mean, every cop in the state is chasing David. And until they find him, until we get a, a handle on this and know what's what, baby, I just don't want you to get caught in the crossfire. Daddy, don't you understand? David was protecting me. Just like you're trying to do right now, David was protecting me. Maybe it started out that way, but it has gotten a little bit out of hand. You don't know. You were not there. I'm the one who was there. All I know is that right now we got to keep you in one place. That just makes common sense, at least until we know what's what. Baby, why don't I fix you something to eat? I don't want anything to eat. Cat! Cat! Just stay right here. Right here. Dr. So, Guthrie, wait a minute. Um, you know, it's very sweet that you want to make medical dinner and everything, but I don't think it's really such a good idea. Why not? Well, see, Holly Lindsay, she's got this whole big surprise party planned at the country club for him tonight because he was such a stud and he rescued her and Michelle. And so, you know, if you, if you make dinner for him, then he'll feel obliged and he won't go over there and it'll ruin the whole surprise. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for telling me. <laughs> I won't sure. say a word. Great, and then the whole surprise will work. Yeah, I guess I might as well organize this place, organize my things. I'll go get my suitcase over at the house. See ya. Okay.
Okay, she's gonna be back in just a few minutes, so you're just gonna have to wait a few while well longer, and then we can get you out no, of here. I gotta get out okay. of town tonight, Bridget. Can you get me a car? Can you do that? I need a car. Can a you car? get me one? A yeah. Car? Where am I supposed to get you a car? Get some money. I need a couple hundred dollars just so I can make it out of town until I can get someplace and get me a, a job. A couple of hundred dollars, Stephen. I have no idea where to get that kind of money. Look, if I stay in this town, Bridget, I'm dead. It's that simple. Don't say that. It's true. Don't I'm a dead man. Don't say it. Okay, look. Don't worry about anything. Okay, I'll find a way out of this. Okay, I'll, I'll find a way to get you all those things. Okay, just stay here and wait for me to come back, please. Please, just stay here. It's just I don't know if you should be left alone the first night back. Hey, it's not that I'm going to hover or anything. I just think that I should, you know, be around in case she needs anything. Why don't you ask her to join us? That's really sweet, but I don't, I don't think so. It could be like a distraction for her. Come on, think about it. No, I, I don't know if she's up to socializing. I mean, you just got to remember, she spent a lot of time alone these last few months, or at least, you know, one-on-one -on -one with her therapist. And she goes out in a social situation she's expected to, you know, keep up the conversation and all that stuff. Maybe she needs just a little more time to get used to what we call this, the real world. <laughs> How about if I promise to go out of my way to make her feel totally comfortable? Oh, of course you are. Hey. Oh, hi. 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 Um, we were just talking about going out to dinner, and we would love it if you would join us. Oh, you know, I just got home, so I don't, I think, I think I should Bridget, unpack and all. You were up there? Yeah. I was just telling Dr. Guthrie I was cleaning. You were cleaning? Yes. There's a lot of dust up there. I don't think anyone's cleaned up there for weeks, so now that Dr. Guthrie's moving in. But you didn't know so. that, did you? I mean... Nah, I'm psychic. Look, I gotta go run some rounds. I'll see you later. Uh, won't you change your mind? I'm trying to convince him he needs a night out, and he'll go if you go. Uh, I think you should definitely go. Great. I'll meet you both there at 8 o'clock. Oh, at the club. no, wait, I have to, I gotta drop Michelle over to Bill's first. All right, and I have to change, but I will be there. <laughs> wonderful, okay. wonderful. Great. I know you have a distrust of anything spur of the moment. Trust me, this will be beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> Okay, we'll have a few speeches after the dinner and then bring on the cake. <laughs> hey, excuse me, Mrs. Bauer. Uh, this is Miss Lindsay Nathan. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you, when I heard Dr. Bauer, I assumed no, it was it's my not mistake. a big mistake. We were married a long time ago. How long shall we wait after he arrives before we begin serving? Oh, five or ten minutes. Everybody's been waiting long enough as it is. How's it going? Uh, I, great. Everybody's having a good time. Where's that? You should be here by now. No, nothing went wrong with Eve. Eve? Guthrie? Long story. Just tell me everything's going to be okay? Everything's going to be okay. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, am I hallucinating or was that a civil exchange between you and your mother? Second one today. Can you believe it? Oh, yeah. One scotch and soda. Plenty of ice. Oh. Soda? Isn't that what you wanted? No, Blake, uh, <clears throat> Blake never takes soda. She only takes it straight up or on the rocks. Well, thanks, Helen Michael. I'll be sure to remember that. Billy, I need to talk to you. Well, you better get that uncle of yours here. We're going to be eating dinner at midnight. I'm sure he'll be along soon. I need to talk to you in private, okay? Is there something you asked me now? Yeah. Well, come on, let's go right out here. You know, you feel really under trust. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry I interrupted your evening like this. It's okay. Look, you remember when, you know, we were going through all the stuff about Peter and everything? Mm -hmm. You said that if I ever needed anything that I could come to you? Yeah, I meant anything. What, you got a problem? Well, not me personally, but um, someone that I owe an awful lot to. And I, look, Billy, I really wish I could tell you who it is, okay? But I can't. Well, uh, I read the papers, and I know who your friends are, so I got a pretty good idea who's in trouble. And, um, 
Well, you see, if, it, if it's with the law, it gets kind of tricky because um, there's only so much I can do and not put my family in jeopardy, and Peter's part of that family now. I'm not asking you to do anything that you could get in trouble for. I mean, you know, no one has to know where the money came from. And if anyone found out, then, then, well, you know, the, the, uh, uh, yeah, you could just say that you had no idea. That, that I, I wouldn't let you know where it was going. But, Billy, I need $500. I really do, okay? You want to be loyal. I know you want to be loyal. Yeah. No, it's, 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 wait a second. You're just lucky that I'm the only fool who carry that much cash around. Why do you think I came to you first? Thank you so much. She can't go to back to work right now, so I thought that maybe she might go see family or something. Or... Well, um, she told me she was going to ask Ed if she could take his apartment above the garage again. Nick, I, I really don't think you have anything to worry about. She's come such a long way. I just told you about it because I didn't want you to be surprised if you bumped into her. Don't worry. All right. All right. Well, you and Lily and certainly seem to have a lot to talk about tonight. Just party conversation. Nothing important. Come on. Hi. Yeah, I need to get a taxi at uh, 1713 Coventry Road. Oh, that's good. Thanks. secretly want to sue somebody. Well, in which case, I, I do have all the appropriate documents out in the car. No, I'm, I'm happy we're all going to have a party. Right. I just hope everyone knows that I didn't save anyone. So yeah. it's just, you know, oh, false modesty. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you crafty little devil. I have a feeling you arranged this whole thing by yourself. Oh, for you. For all you've done for me. Oh, it makes me feel so happy to see Ed like this. Like proof that the worst can happen if you still survive. Maybe even be happy again. Yeah. Everybody deserves that. Yeah.
I don't know. I don't have time to worry about that right now. I gotta get out of here tonight, Bridget. Well, I'm glad nobody's contacted you yet, Kat. Well, I've been screening the calls as best I can, but as I said, I wouldn't let my daughter talk to the press in any case. They're a bunch of vipers, all of them. But then David has given them plenty to chew on. What exactly are you trying to say, Mrs. Grant? Look, uh, why don't we give these people some peace and quiet, Vivian? Uh, thanks for your time, both of you. You know, you know, Dr. Grant, there's one other thing I, w I would like to say. I understand that, that you really want to keep this quiet, but there's such a thing as too quiet. When my daughter started seeing your son, if I had had any idea how serious David's little problem with the law had really been, then I would have worked real hard to keep him away from my daughter and out of my home. Daddy, please, don't talk about I have right very now. little to say in our defense. But when you've had a child who has given you nothing but shame and embarrassment practically from the day no, he was born... No, you just stop it, all right? Don't you dare stand in my house and talk about David like that in front of me. Don't you ever do that. Sounds like you're having fun. And is that the pina coladas talking here, or do we have a bad connection? Where uh, Where are you? Oh, uh, so that they're on St. Something, some island in the Caribbean, but they forgot the name, so... Uh, must be too many pina coladas. Let me talk to her. Uh, Come on. Uh, Harley, hi, baby. Hi, how are you? Are you bathing yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Harley, <laughs> she says, of course not. <laughs> oh, honey, we miss you so much. Listen, you come home and... Oh, but have a good time. Yes, have a good time. Mm -hmm. Oh, and honey, you would not believe what's happened. Oh, uh, hold on here, uh, sis. Uh, nothing's, down, nothing's, nothing, nothing's happened. Um, I'm just bragging because she got into her old uniform again. So. And she looks beautiful yes, in it. she looks fine. So, so how's... Oh, no, hey, things are going great here. Yeah, we're, uh, everything's fine. Oh, hey, it'll be my honor to do that for you, all right? E6? Okay, I remember. Okay, yeah, you, you guys come back soon. I, I love you, sis, okay? All right, bye. I love you, too. Um, could you put E6 on for them? That's their song, and they want us to remember them by okay. putting that on, all right? All right. E6. <laughs> Hello, Harley. Hello, Harley. Hello, Harley. Hello, Harley. Hello, Harley. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, I remember this, too. Betty Jean Humble taught me how to dance with this song. Come here, Frankie. I'm going to show you. I don't know this one. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Look, it's easy. You just follow it up. I, I don't. Toe, heel, toe, heel. Step, step. Just follow me. Do what I do. Toe, this heel. is painful. Step, step. Why? You can do it. Come on. Here. We'll show you how. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank
And when he didn't become what you wanted him to become, he was non-existent as far as you were concerned. He was worthless. David made himself worthless. No, that's because you never took the time to get to know David. You don't even know him. He lived in your house for 15 years, and you still don't know him. And that's pretty sad, because David is one of the nicest, kindest, strongest people that I've ever met in my life. He's even willing to give up his own life for somebody else. I know, because I've seen it with my own two eyes. And you know, I just have to sit back and wonder where he got it from. Because it certainly wasn't from you. Neither one of you guys deserve David anyway. I really, I think the two of you ought to go, okay? Sorry, Daddy, but I have to say what I needed to say. It's okay. I just wish there was something I could do to make it better, huh? Anything I can do to make it better? Anything? Nothing. Nothing. You need to get you some sleep. You really do. How about it? See, baby, you won't sleep, you won't eat. And you gotta stay strong. How you expect to do that? All right, I'll eat something. All right. It's my girl. How about soup and a sandwich? I mean, I'll hook it right up. Seriously. Daddy, that's too strong. If anything, I want something light. Light. Well, you know, when you were a little girl, way back when you were a little girl, it was chocolate pudding. Chocolate pudding still sounds good. All right. Cool. No, well, maybe I'll try some of that um, new dessert that you have at the Towers. The tiramisu. Oh, the tiramisu. <laughs> you want to drown your sorrows in tiramisu? That's good. That's, that's fine. I'll, I'll uh, take you over there and we'll have the chef hook you right up. How about it? Okay? Um, He'd make it special just for you. No, I'd rather just stay here and wait. I don't think I could face anybody right now. David is gone. He's someplace far away. Because if he was here, he would have been here by now. You gotta trust me. I'm sorry. All right. I'll be back in an hour, okay? Okay. One hour? Yeah. Maybe even less. Try and get some rest. Stay right here. Okay. Thank you. It's all right. Forty-five minutes. Did Billy ask who it was for? Well, I made a point of not telling him. Yeah, but he's Ham's best friend. What if he says he something? He won't Bridget? say anything. Well, now, you got to get out of here. Take my car. Be careful with the alarm just went on. I can't do that, Bridget. What if I get caught? It's just how you stole it from me. I'll never forget this, Bridget. David, take care of yourself, okay? Be safe. Where are you going to go? I don't know. Just, just tell Cat I love her. Slow, so I figured there's no point in her sticking around, so I told her to go home, take me. You know. Hey, you're right. It's, it's midweek. This is his life after dinner. And, uh, maybe it'd be okay if I snuck out too early. Uh, Miss Bradshaw needs me to look at her car. Okay, sure. Okay. See you tomorrow. 
Night all. Night all. Hey! <laughs> Glad you came back early. Oh, are you? Yeah. yeah. Any longer, I might have missed you. Well, I'm a firm believer in making up for lost time. Oh, hey. Wait. <laughs> right. Well, firstly, Ed's always been my favorite hero. Oh. Yes, he's, he's quite, quite a kind, loving man. A lot of fun to be with. And not to mention, he's probably the most trustworthy person I know. Although, I don't think I would let him get me on an operating table. Sergeant Chief of Staff Cedars and all. But I, yeah. I think yeah. that he forgets the time that Michelle cut her little finger, uh -huh. and you had trouble taking the paper off of the band. Never happened. Oh, you should have seen it. He I was cursing the blue paper streak. Off. You trying to get Can the little red thread out of there? I can't take that thread out of there. Well, now that I probably have ruined private practice for you. Well, for uh, anyone in this room, yes. Yeah, yeah, you never had so. me anyway. I think that's safe. Yeah, I don't think, that, yeah, I I think uh, <laughs> that I speak for everybody in this room when I say, oh, I can hear it. Yeah. Uncle Ed, Here we I go. love you. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, can and we be sure? Frankly, I'm very you? happy that, uh, that we're all here to, yeah. to rib you. Yeah. And I don't care good. what anybody says. you got plenty of hair. Ah. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Disinherited! you, Alan Michael. I said it wonderful to have a nephew who treats you with such respect. Bang. Rick's gone. By the yeah. toast's over now, please. I mean, my self-esteem is on its last. No, no, no. One more. Okay. No, no. One in a million man. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know how easy it was to get everybody to come out to this thing? Oh, she's free, free food. Time. I gotta go. Free food. <laughs> how about that? No, they didn't even give it a Where second thought. Food? And that's because everybody feels about you the same way I do. Here's to you. Yeah. Long yeah. life, yes. health, Woo. Ed Bauer. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No more shows. Yeah. Hello. 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 Do you know that I didn't even know that you were having a hero's party until just now? But I do have something for you, Ed. And in keeping with the theme of your delightful party, I think it's going to prove to be your surprise of the night. has been Guiding Light. Silver Jewelry by Nancy and David. He's a fugitive from the law and she's a woman in love. Will David and Kat become lovers on the run? Tomorrow on Guiding Light and the war between Jack and Brad is escalating. Jack may be gaining ground, but Brad's about to get some new ammunition. Tomorrow on The Young and the Restless.